In the South Bay, police have arrested the mother-daughter owners of a San Jose daycare facility. Uh, two girls sadly died when they drowned in a backyard pool at the Happy Happy Home Daycare, and a two-year-old boy survived. Investigators say the children were left unattended in an outdoor play area. They then walked through a pool gate that had been propped open. ABC 7 News South Bay reporter Lauren Martinez asked a legal expert to evaluate the case. The owners of a San Jose home daycare where two toddlers drown are facing felony child endangerment charges. The Santa Clara County District Attorney's Office says criminal negligence led to the fatal drownings of two one-year-old girls in the backyard pool. Many times prosecutors don't want to compound a tragedy like this by filing criminal charges, but this is very different than the backyard accident that happens with a drowning. What you have here is the highest duty of care to these children because they were at a daycare. The DA's office says a mother and her adult daughter owned Happy Happy Daycare. Detectives outlined a timeline of events. On Sunday, October 1st, an employee called out of work. On Monday, the daughter was the only caretaker since her mother was at another daycare. According to the investigation, the mother's husband normally waters plants by the pool. It stated, quote, while doing so, he propped open the pool gate with a clothes hanging rack. He failed to close the gate after watering the plants. The allegations say while the daughter was making breakfast, she let the girls and a two-year-old boy into the rear patio play area, unsupervised and out of her sight and with access to the open gate. At least five minutes later is when she discovered the boy unconscious in the pool and then called for help for the girls. So it's not just one violation, but a number of problems at the daycare that compounded this tragedy. And I think that will be key. It's possible the DA's office could look at filing homicide charges. Pool safety advocates say better state regulations are needed. The license requirements for daycare, home daycare operations with pools or open water are nominal at best. Parents should take a really good, hard, long look at what happened here. Because again, this is not just about the daycare operators. This is about a system that enables these daycare operators to exist in the first place. The two women are due in court in December. In San Jose, Lauren Martinez, ABC 7 News.